Hello America. I want to tell you what I would do if I was president. Now I'm not running for president. They wouldn't let a guy like me run. I'm just saying that if a man were to come with these principles and these ideas that our economy would be back on track, I say in two years at the most five. We could reduce 30% of the deficit with some of these means that I'm talking about in the first week. So here's a list of what I would do as president and some of my opinions on how government does it. First of all, I would audit government to the people. All funds being spent in any direction is taxpayer money, therefore has to be accountable. I would give them a 10 I would give government a 10% secret area where national defense and items that can't be known publicly could be kept in that 10%, but only 10%. If there's more secret budgets than 10%, we're in trouble anyway. I'd look at foreign aid. I'd cut most of it out. I would send grain, corn, doctors. We want to be the world's healers. We want to feed the world, not arm the world. Not arm dictator governments that do our will to their people. We need to stay out of other nations' business. Take care of America. We need to quit influencing countries to be democracies and this and that because, as you can see, it's backfired on us more than it's helped us. Uh, if we are against an Islamic rule, uh, it's not helping us that these people vote in an Islamic leader. And then we spend billions of dollars to corrupt their elections and get a pro-democracy leader in who then oppresses his people. That's just ridiculous. We don't have the money for it. Then, my policy on trade. It's very simple. To start off, we're going to raise all tariffs to equal with all our trading partners. The same across the board. So if we have a 15% tariff uh, on our goods going into China, that's going to be a 15% tariff for their goods coming into America. Same with Mexico. Same with every nation in the world. If we do trade with you, we want the equal trade agreement. We are no longer in the welfare business for other nations industrial development. We can't afford it. Now, we need to stop illegal immigration. The government likes to say 11 million people. Do you believe that? I don't believe that. I've heard sources say 20 million and that sounds more to uh, the truth. Uh, and if you add up welfare, HUD, Medicaid for all these illegal aliens, hospital care, uh, billions of dollars a year. The government's shamming us that for some social engineering reason, they want to trick you into paying for all these people who don't deserve it. They broke into our country. They're not paying taxes into the system. They're scamming us for our resources. And yet the government's telling you, you have to accept this because they're human beings. Uh, you have to pay some of your hard-earned wages to feed them and house them and clothe them. Well, I'm sorry. As a president, I wouldn't agree with that. Now, Another thing, this war on drugs has cost us billions and billions, uh, probably a trillion dollars since the Reagan administration. Now, no one likes drugs. I'm not a pro-drug supporter. I'm not a pro-legalization of drug supporter by no means. As a president, I would not legalize drugs. But what I would do is I would decriminalize them. I would take the jail penalties out except for the most extreme cases. And if someone is hurt during drug dealings, there are laws to prosecute them for hurting someone. You do not need to add the drug criminality on top of it. The only reason I'm saying we need to do this is not because I want drugs to spread across America, but because we have spent ourselves into oblivion fighting this thing, and drugs are more available now than they ever have been. So what I say is this take back all the war on drugs money. We pay Colombia millions, hundreds of millions of dollars a year to support their police so they will enforce their drug policies. But we all know that cocaine is still being grown in Colombia. But we are pouring million after million of dollars down this hole. Now that has to stop. So bring back the war on drugs money. Also, the war on terror. The government has us so worked up and scared about these terrorists. Now, they did a terrible thing on 9-11. 3,000 people died. Uh, I think that's the most people died in an attack against America in, you know, centuries. That's a terrible thing. 
But the fact is, is I think there's certain elements that have taken advantage of this to keep infringing upon our freedoms and keep tightening the rope around our necks. They want to spread this world agenda and they want to spread this socialist idea across America and they know Americans don't want it. So they're trying to suppress us with the NSA, the ATF, the FBI, the rules after regulations on top of the other so they can enforce everything. And to be honest, in this country right now, anything you do is illegal. It's whether the government chooses to prosecute you or not. That's not freedom. That's tyranny. Force the NSA, the National Security Agency, to fix the Mexico problem to guard our borders in this nation. That's exactly what needs to be done. That money can be spent here in America protecting the American borders from drugs, from weapons, from uh, illegal immigrants coming into this nation. That's what the use of that money's for, not to go to other countries and manipulate their governments. I would like to go to a 15% flat tax and abolish the IRS and the Fed. That would be corporate and civilian taxes, 15% across the board. Balance the budget to where that's enough. No more of this bull, no more loopholes, no more millionaires getting out of paying taxes, no more middle class getting shafted to pay 36%. I would also put a presidential amendment to balance the budget, a presidential order to balance the budget. Since Congress is made of Republicans and Democrats, they don't want to balance the budget because they want to spend more than they make. That's the nature of politics. That's the nature of government right now. And since the president seems that these presidential orders and these czars uh, are the answer, then when I get in, I will use a presidential order one last time to abolish or to create a balanced budget presidential order and seal it in stone. Now these are a few ideas that I've had. If I was gonna run for president, this is what I would stand on. If, if you agree, then put up a video with some of your solutions so we could have a discussion about it. Watch for the next video. Thank you.